Good evening. It's Friday, October the 19th, 2007, about 9.30 in the evening, and we are at the National Black Theater in Harlem, New York City, New York. We're here to talk with Stephanie Dyer. She's going to tell us her class year, her school, and her major. Stephanie, please introduce yourself. Who are you, and what do you do? Greetings. I'm Stephanie Dyer. Class of 1970, School of Arts and Sciences. I'm a social worker by trade, and I am employed as a content editor for Students in Temporary Housing, Department of Education, Bronx Integrated Service Center. The Office of School and Youth Development, we are the consultant end of the Bronx ISC, providing supportive services to schools to strengthen their efforts to help children learn and achieve. And specifically, um, you know, we provide workshops and training and targeted customized services for schools who are in need of them. Stephanie, what role do you play in presenting this play, Black Man Rising? Well, Lee, I've been a supporter of theater, and my business partner, Jackie Jeffrey, she's the associate producer, and so my role is to make sure that everybody sees this fantastic and dynamic choreo play. You said you've been involved with theater and the arts for a long time. Could you please elaborate? Give us a little more information. Sure. I believe it was around the late 70s. I was involved with a small theater company in Westchester County where I was the administrator and we worked with adolescents and uh, youth in the Westchester County, particularly Mount Vernon. It was called Black Osmosis Incorporated. We even had a play that was done at the Joseph Papps Theater right there at Astor Place. It seems that the production's overall message was about black men realizing where they come from and where they're going and how they have to change many of the social aspects that are happening in their daily lives. Could you please elaborate from your point of view what the play was about? Well, first of all, Lee, I want to say thank you so very, very much for coming out. And um, it was so good to see your face in the place, my good brother, and I, I hope that you did enjoy the show. As you know, Lee, there's a national initiative to support our fathers, our brothers, our uncles, our neighbors and friends who are raising children and who are involved in their children's education. This play is so timely, celebrating males, celebrating black men in particular. It's time to celebrate our men and to lift them up. So the play is very, very timely. It talks the struggle. It talks about the pain. It talks about the progress and it talks about the hope. So, Stephanie, why should people, black men, black boys, see this play? You know, it's time for black men to be celebrated. It's time for them to feel good about who they are and to see their strength on the stage and the screen. And this was a celebration of black malehood. You saw male bonding. You saw healthy male bonding. You saw men free. You saw men hopeful, and it's critical, I think, for young men particularly to see. They see issues. They see the problems on stage, but they saw solutions, and they saw hope to carry on, and that's what's really needed. It's an all-male cast. Can you imagine how wonderful a young man, adolescent, will feel to see strong images of who he is on stage? Ideas come from good feelings, and this play will leave young men walking away feeling good about themselves, feeling hopeful and joyful. They will see healthy male bonding, and, you know, that's just so very, very needed. So it's just real critical to get everybody out that we know to see this play. When does this play end its run? Well, we're looking forward to uh, extending the production, but currently scheduled to end next weekend, October 28th. So we just want to encourage everyone to come out. Come and check it out. But don't come by yourself. <laughs> bring a male. Bring a son. Bring a cousin. Bring an uncle. But bring somebody to share and to see and to experience this dynamic choreo play. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Stephanie Dyer, network participant, participating in life, participating in the network, and helping others. Visit the network's virtual office calendar to see showtimes for Black Man Rising. This has been a network profile. I'm Lee Kitt reporting for the NSBL Network.